Good afternoon and evening to some or morning to some, depending upon if you're in Hawaii, LA, uh, Central, Midwest, Eastern, uh, you could be in the Salt Lake Valley for all I know. Either way, anyway, I want you to have a great and wonderful day because today could be, has the potential to be the best day of your life. And for that, uh, I am very grateful. Earlier today, some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not. I posted a, a meme uh, on there and it said, I don't care what you think about me, right? I don't care what you think about me. And you hear people say that, I don't care, I don't give a crap, you can think, you know, all these things. Here's my 37 year uh, perspective. As you know, I've been in personal recovery from alcohol and drugs and other behavioral challenges for over 37 years now. Been clean and sober since April 25th of 1986. Now, that doesn't make me an expert, but it sure as hell gives me a lot of experience. Here's the deal. I care what you think about me. Matter of fact, the person who says they don't care probably cares the most. They care to the point where it pains them. We have to care. Now, it doesn't mean, don't get it twisted, it doesn't mean I have to do anything about what you say, but I care about what you say. For me as a person of recovery who lives in steps 10, 11, and 12, thank you, my sponsor, Slow Will, step 10 is continue to take a personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Well, sometimes it takes you to tell me I'm wrong because my ego doesn't want to see me as wrong. My ego wants me to see myself as right. But if you come to me and say, you've harmed me here, you said that there, you did this there, you did that there, I need to examine it. I need to care enough about what you say to examine what you're saying, right? If, if not, to do that, it says, I think um, in the back of spiritual experience or one of the appendices of AA, it essentially says contempt prior to investigation is a bar against all information and will lead to everlasting ignorance. Well, I don't want to be everlasting, everlastingly ignorant. Therefore, I must examine what you say. Again, I don't have to necessarily do anything with it. I could get to the conclusion based on accountability. Let's say that somebody says something about me or acts a certain way about me. I have Laura. I have my children. I have my sponsor, Slow Will. I have some certain people in my life that I'm accountable to that I may go and say, hey, so-and-so said this or they're acting that way. Do you think it's anything about me that needs to change? Or I pray and I say, God, show me how I can be the best version of me because obviously I'm offending. Do I need to change my behavior? Do I need to change my approach? Do I need to change my circle of influence? Do I need to change my circumstance? What is the reason that they are saying this or doing that? Is it something in me that has to be changed? Because if I don't look inward, I don't have the right to look outward. I must look inward first. I must examine what you're saying, hold it up to a magnifying glass of personal investigation, um, become accountable to other people, and then based on that, make whatever adjustment I need to make, or just say, you know what? That's just the way it is, and if you don't like it, you can't be a part of my life, or this part or that part, or you need to get out of my life altogether. Again, I care about what you say. It doesn't mean I'm going to do anything with it necessarily, but I must examine it. And if you are the type of person who believes that other people don't have a right, or then you need to exclude everyone from your sphere of influence. Because from the closest to the furthest people out, we're giving them permission to be a part of our life. Now, we can pick and choose based on boundaries what part or how close they are, but a part of their life they are. And if individuals did not feel the freedom to come up to me and say, Robert, you bothered me. You said this, you did that, you know, then why are they in my life? Why? Because I want the ability to go and say to them, hey, you, you bothered me. You hurt my feelings when you said this, said that. Now, it could be that I, I have my feelings hurt unnecessarily. It could be I'm onto something or you're onto something. I continue to take a personal inventory 
And when I'm wrong, promptly admit it. If I'm not wrong, I don't admit it. I don't make the change. But what if you're right? What if there's something in me that prevents me from being the best possible example I can be to other people? I even asked one of my sponsees, I was talking to Thomas, I said, how am I in meetings? Do I come across as a know-it-all? Do I come across as, a, as what they call a bleeding deacon? Do I come across as someone overbearing? Help me, because Thomas is much newer than me, help me understand how I can be most effective. And if I don't take that approach, what am I doing? Now, obviously, there's certain things in my life that are non-negotiable, like my marriage or my relationship to God and my reverence toward him and, and the program of Alcoholics Anonymous as I've come to understand it from the first 164 pages, right? So there's certain things that aren't negotiable. If you told me, you know, I can't be this way to my wife. I just say, go suck an egg. This is who I am. This is how I am. This has been 34 years of success. But if you say, hey, if you try to do this, maybe you can be a better husband. That I want to look at. Or you give me some spiritual insight on how to go before God to, to ask him to be a better servant toward others, right? All those types of things I need to evaluate. I need to even negotiate to find out how that fits in my personality and my approach to life. I hope this helps. Uh, again, I do care about what you think toward me. And if there's anything that I'm doing or saying that may offend you, please let me know. Let me know publicly or let me know in a DM or however you choose to communicate with me. Because to not tell me would not be true to yourself. And don't we all need to be true to ourselves. Have a great day. Be blessed. I'm on my way to a meeting. Got a couple meetings this afternoon. Got some appointments with my sponsees. It is going to be a very fruitful day. Be blessed. Thank you so much.